maiden voyage on the Husky FE 350. So I'm just doing, uh, I've got to do an hour's riding on it, an hour's running time before I can uh, basically do the oil changer and stuff like that. Oil change, oil filter change, uh, fuel screed change. So I'm just going to get you, I'm not going to be using this habitually on the road. This is probably going to be a rare occasion when I do, if I'm honest. First things, gearbox seems nice and smooth, but then it is a brand new bike. So I'm just trying to remember what this said. In fact, let's put it into road mode one. I don't want it in road mode two. That's going to be a bit snappy. And the brakes just need bedding in a bit as well, so I'll have to be mindful of that. Yes, yeah, so there's no neutral light, so you've just got to be a bit mindful with the uh, gear selectors, just like on the WR250 that I had for that day. But it feels stable, I've got the tubeless tyres in it. And I went with the tubeless rather than the uh, moose systems simply because of comments I got where people were saying that if you're running a moose on the road, which obviously you shouldn't do anyway, uh, it can feel like you've constantly got a flat tyre. But this seems okay, just seems normal. Right, I shall take a right here. It does sound nice, I must admit. Very light, very nimble. Turning circles much better than the 701. Let's see what it's like going over a bump. Easy peasy. So obviously there's a significant difference between this and the Husky 701, but not in a negative way, I'll be honest. This is fine, I mean this is going to be just perfect for the trails, it's geared quite low, is my first observations. Right, take a left here. So have to remember to use arm signals. Let's have a little ride down here. But yes, yeah, very light bike. This is just standard suspension, nothing done with it. In fact, I might just park up down here, I'll just give you a quick walk around. So it might just take me a while to find neutral to start with. <laughs> All right, so let's have a look at the bike. So I've had these uh, swing arm protectors put on 
to protect the swing arm, <laughs> obviously. Uh, engine covers, the uh, service, if that's how you pronounce it, covers put on, done that. They seem quite a nice fit, but they are designed for the bike. And like I said, the, uh, the swing arm protectors. Uh, what else have I had done? I've taken the AXP bash plate off, which I bought as an extra. It does come with quite a sturdy bash plate, but I took the standard one off. thought I'd put the AXP in one on because it covers the uh, the linkage and also the um, cylinder for the rear brake. Uh, other thing I've done, you can probably see it better on the front wheel than the rear. You've got the uh, tubeless system and the, uh, the rim lock, so just tubeless tyres converted from tubed. Uh, what else have I done? Handguards put on, although it's the original handguards, you just literally just put these uh, metal inserts in just to give you a bit of additional protection. And I think that is it. I can't think of anything else I've had done to it. So that's it. Going to keep the standard exhaust on. Can't see any point in changing that. Uh, Tire-wise, as standard, this, these are the uh, Michelin enduros mediums uh supposed to be quite a good tie up so i'll leave them on for a while see how they fare but yeah that's it really uh yep see how it goes right crack on yeah so it's got little short stubby levers clutch and brake lever which i quite like Left the indicators off it, and what else did I take off? Um, yeah, mirrors. Don't really want mirrors on. All they do is they get broken, don't they? Potentially. No point tempting fate. Yeah, so I'm still getting used to neutral. Neutral's a bit tricky to find at the moment, but I'll get used to it. Well, first impressions, I like it. Yeah, I mean, I can't believe I had it. I picked up this on the first, well, I had it delivered on the 1st of April, uh, which coincidentally is the same date I had my 701 delivered the previous year. So, yeah, delivered on the 1st of April 2023, and today is the 22nd, is it, or the 23rd? of March, uh, not March, of May. So uh, yeah, I've had it a while, nearly uh, seven weeks. I finally got around to riding it. But I've just been busy with other things. Little projects I wanted to do on my 701. A oh, trip up to Scotland I did, and where else did I go? Oh yeah, yeah, I went to Wales, didn't I? Yeah, so other than that, been about a little bit. So I'm not sure how many miles. And I was riding a equator. Probably not too many at this speed. I'm not going to go far on it. I haven't really got time to go far. Well, I've got an hour, obviously, because I'm going to run it for an hour. But I don't want to go too far on it. Just want to get used to it. I haven't been down here for a while. What's this new looking building? It looks like they've tarted this up. No idea. Yeah, it seems to have a nice bit of uh, get up and go to it though. I love that turning it like that, it's so agile. Alright, take a right here. Creeping out of it, aren't they? A bit impatient. Uh, 
It sounds lovely, there's this bike though. Definitely won't be changing the exhaust. I haven't been down here for about 20 years. We used to be able to get access from here down into the actual woods. But now it seems they've built a, a, a retail park, well not a retail park, an industrial estate. Home and Garden Group, never heard of them. So the advice I got regarding running this in was basically just ride it. Don't pamper it, just ride it. And once I've done this uh, one hour's oil change, then I'm going to get the bike on the trailer in the next few days, go up to some of the trails up in the Yorkshire Dales and go and give it a go. Can you take a left here? Yes you can. Front brake's still a bit soft, as is the rear. It'll take a bit of bedding in, won't it? So again, yeah, quite a good turning circle. So just quickly, just checking it over, making sure there's no leaks from anything. Doesn't appear to be, everything seems to be sweet as a nut. Just curious to see how hot this exhaust is as well. Hmm. So so. Oh yes, very nice looking bike. 
So I don't know if there's a way to keep that on a running time or whether you've just got a distance one odometer twelve point three miles presumably that's what we've we got yeah so we've got distance twelve point three miles and the clock distance two that's going to be the same obviously 44 minutes actual running time, 12.3 miles. And what's this do? So 16 miles an hour average. So that just seems to change it between 16 miles per hour average. back to there no distance two and then back there actual running time 44 minutes stand is retracted So by the time I get home from here now, then we should be near enough at an hour. I think the gears are a bit tight at the moment but the leads up a bit and become a bit more easier to select once I've done a few miles on the bike So like even in sixth gear now, it's pulling quite nicely going uphill. It's a bit weird doing hand signals, but got to be done. So I shall head on home now and I think I'll have probably accrued my one hour's riding time by the time I get back. I shall wrap this little video up here so that's basically just one hour's running time initially just to allow me to do that first oil change so hopefully you'll see this bike loads and loads of times from now on especially on the trails 
freshly foam intending to do something that I don't fancy risking it on my 701. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think. Okay, catch you all later guys. Ta-da!